Hi, I'm Mr. Tight Eye, and this video I'm going to show you how to do a mushroom tea. So what I'm starting with is a t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash. I've spun it out so it's barely damp. Uh, I've turned it inside out just because I like working on the inside of the tea. And then I've centered it where I pulled just the front of the tea forward. And this here is the back of the tea back here. So we're going to put the mushroom just on the front of the tea. And I'm doing that just because it's easier to fold some of these folds in here with just two layers of fabric. So first off is putting the mushroom on. And I usually just kind of freehand it. Sometimes my mushrooms look good and sometimes not. So you just got to kind of go for it. Uh, so we can stop right there at the mushroom if you want. Or if you want to have kind of a 3D effect with the underside of the mushroom. You'll just draw that in. And this here is going to give us that kind of underside of the mushroom. Um, the other thing I'm using a washable marker. I'm using the dark one because after I fold this up I'm going to want to be able to look through the tee and see where these lines are because once it's folded this line here isn't going to be folded the same way so I'm going to need to fold it up and then draw the same thing on the back side and you'll see that as we go. So to start with we're just going to start accordion folding it, so I'm going to start folding from right up here. Let's see. And I'm just lining these up, making sure that all of my folds are lined up on top there. And this here is not lining up the same straightness just because of the way we went around that corner. So that's the nice thing about the kite string is I can tie this up however it happens to be and then I can go back in and mark my lines where I'm actually going to put my die. So my tied line isn't always the same as my dyed line. Okay, now I'm going to leave this attached right now. And what I'm going to do is find some of my lines on the back side. So you can't see them here on the video, but if I hold this up to the light here, I can see my line so I can start drawing that on there. Okay, once you have that part done, then it's a matter of getting in here and finding these folds. So what I'm going to do is kind of an accordion fold inside. That's a little bit trickier. Let's zoom in just a little bit here. So you can see the line that I'm working with. This here is that inner 3D line. This is the more difficult one to fold. So I'm going to just do little accordion folds 
right inside here. So instead of scrunching this, so if you do a regular mushroom, you can just scrunch this up and you can dye it at this point. But if you want the 3D, then you need to find that line. So I am just slowly doing my little accordion folds right inside there. And then I'll use my marker and I'll draw those same lines on the back side of the T. Okay, and now I have my kite string still attached and I tied it about in the middle of this run here and now I can run under there and kind of cinch that down just a little bit. So that will hold that fold in place. And I'll go ahead and wrap it around this way one more time just to lock it down more. And then what I'm going to do is find those lines on the other side and draw them in. So you just hold it up to the light or if you have a light board you can do that also. So yeah, this is what makes it trickier with the mushroom if you're doing the 3D effect there. And then this is my other line. This is the top of my stem. Right here, this line. So we're going to tie that one off also. Although we can't get quite a good of a accordion fold on it. I'm going to wad it up just a little bit, but I at least know that's where I need to put my die line at. And then we'll mark that off on the back side too. So I just kind of wrap it around different places that just kind of locks everything in place. And then that's when I'll tie this off and cut it. find that other line on the back side. Sometimes if you can't see it, if you at least know where it's at. So there's my area. We'll mark it, finish marking it on the front. Sometimes you just open the folds up and you can see where it's supposed to be. So there's the mushroom that I have. I'll pull this part. So this line here is going to be the cap. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot I zoomed in. So this here is the whole line that I folded. This here line is going to be my cap. This is going to be the under part of the mushroom. And this is going to be my stem down here. Let's finish marking that line off. So that's where we're going to put our dies at. So now I'm going to scrunch this up and make it ready for tie-dye. And there's the mushroom ready for dye. So we'll come back to that once we're set up. Okay, we're ready to dye the mushroom here. So I'm going to outline it first off with my thick black dye. And if you're hearing that term for the first time, there is a video called How to Make Thick Black Dye. And that just means exactly what it is. This dye is extremely thick, so it doesn't spread out as much. This is what I use to outline my designs with. So you can learn how to make that by watching 
my other video. The one drawback to this, since it doesn't spread as much, it also doesn't want to soak in quite as fast as regular dye does. So after I get done outlining, then I'll usually go back and use my little tool. This here is just a cuticle pusher. And I just squeeze right along that line just to kind of push that dye down inside so it's not sitting on the top little creases there. I could thin this out just a little bit so that it would soak in, but then it, that just makes it a little bit wider of a line and I kind of like the really narrow line when I outline things so this is how I do it but if you don't like to go through and push this in then you can just thin your dye out just a little bit more and then it will soak in on its own so that comes down to personal preference Now I'm going to color the mushroom. So this here is the cap up here. I'm going to make that a nice shade of golden brown. Well, actually the color of the dye is called bronze, but that makes it a nice browny color. Now I'm going to dye the rest of the shirt in, well I'm going to extend these colors out, I'm going to go with a darker yellow and then an orange, and then the rest of the tea is going to be in gray and purple. Okay, and another thing you can do, if you want to add just a little bit of detail, um, I'm going to take my red and I'll put just a little bit in a paint tray here and use a foam brush and just dip a little bit in there and then you can just brush just a little bit of color on. You can go all the way down into the yellow there. Main thing when you do this is to make sure that you do both sides. And if you, this is with me folding just the middle of the front forward. So this here is just going to be just on the front of the tee. If you have folded the back of the tee in also, this isn't going to be enough dye to penetrate all the way through. So you'll have just the red lines on the front unless you go a little heavier with the dye so that it soaks through both layers. Anyway, this here is just one way of adding just a little sprice of color onto your design. I will be back here, the shirt will be back at the end of the video. Thank you for watching, please like and share. Okay, next up is the mushroom tea. Let's get these strings off of here.